I'm forced to wear the hat of shame, the cone of shame yet again. It's not the first time, is it, Zach? Why am I donning the... Why am I wearing the cone anyway, Zach? You should be half wearing it as well. Fair but comment. Fair comment. Right, here we go. So this is relation to the ARB compressor mount. So we were, as ever, big fans of our own work. We've created this. It sits in behind your spare wheel. The, the whole lines up. We thought we'd done a really good job. But one customer has spotted a problem. On the ARB, you get these little air filter canisters. And we'll take it apart in a minute because we have to. And these screw on to the air filters. Now, we were so excited. We didn't screw these air filters on. And on this top one, if you screw this on, it makes it a little bit longer and a little bit bigger. And when you go to fit the spare wheel case, and someone said, Simon, this is a brilliant product, but can you have a look at this? Am I doing something wrong? But of course, it was me that was doing something wrong. Well, where's the hole there, Zach? Whoop, I got it, I got it. I'm on it. And you can see it just gets a little bit close to here. Um, so that is not good enough. So we have been busy and we have come up with the new Powerful UK reduced size air filter. And we're going to have a look at how this works. Okay, but that now clears. Okay, so let me just show you this. There we go. So you can see the reduction in size. And how did we do this? And how does this work? So this air filter is tricky. It sort of snaps apart. They've done a good design. And this is the disc of magic. This is what filters. And that sits there. So anything that gets sucked through here is being sucked through this filter. And I guess ARB, we've studied this a bit, haven't we, Zach? It's quite clever. There's a couple of things. Obviously, the lid goes on. But they've designed it in such a way that it's minimal exposure to water, but you still got roots for the air. So we had to keep that in mind. So what have we done? So we have designed this three piece, very similar, the lid clips on. Okay, so this is 3D printed. It's got a self cutting thread here. We've got a slight taper that bites on. Then what you do, you can't mount the filter plate directly on to here because the air wouldn't be exposed to the whole underside. So we've created this little spacer ring so that the, the whole surface is exposed. That sits on top like that. And then this is the top. Now you'll notice the top has these channels in it so that the air, the top surface, the other surface of the filter block is exposed. And then there's air channels run and then there's grooves around the outside. Now we had to make sure that the area of these grooves was more than the area of the inlet so that it wasn't causing a restriction. But bear in mind, your surface area there is quite minimal. So there we go. So that all just assembles there. Okay, brush, brush, brush. And that just snaps together. Okay, and then that just threads on here like so. Okay, and you can see now this only affects the top filter housing. You can use your original ARB one on the lower filter housing. Right, so I do apologize. Um, it was a mistake on our part, but we will make sure that everyone that's bought one, we will send you out a free one of those. We do like to look after our early adopters. They shouldn't be disadvantaged. Right, so that goes on there. Bom, bom, bom. And maybe if you go around that side, Zach, you better see the... Right, can I get the holes better this time? Let's look at that. So there you go. So you can see the, the clearance there. We've now got clearance there. So... We're all, we can breathe easy, my G, now with our compressor. We're all good. So Destiny's got your details of the people that bought them, and she is arranging for those to be sent out. We're going to get some 3D printed over the weekend, some early part of next week. So we'll get those all sent out to you um, by the middle of next week. Sorry about that. Good luck with that.